Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Reviews. Today, I am reviewing Wild Elixir by Sha excuse me by Shakira. This is the follow-up to its predecessor, Elixir, and this one kind of takes on its own new life. And I will say that this was the first one out of all of them that drove me to wanting the Elixir line just off of the box when it got announced. So, on the box, you've got these two Black Panthers in the middle. And then it's kind of got this light rating out of the middle. There's a heart up there, some flowers. That same kind of raindrop that's on the Elixir box. If you guys can see that. It kind of carries itself over to the Wild Elixir. You've got this kind of... Um, I can't even think of the word I want to use. And then it's the, they kind of carry on to the side and side there. So, there's that. The bottle this time, although looked a little bit similar to the original Elixir, the liquid's a little bit darker, the gold is definitely a little bit darker, and on top it's black this time and still got that signature Shakira S. So this one has, its notes are, the top notes are tangerine, bergamot, and black currant, middle notes are peach, orange blossom, and rose, and the base notes are cedar, sandalwood, and patchouli. So. With this one, I will say it's not, I don't like this one the most. It's a little bit different for me, but it's, I'm not having anything against it. So, definitely, I can smell at the top, you can really smell the tangerine when you first, first spray. It's kind of got this citrus blast, but it quickly goes away. Um, I feel like the black currant is probably the most prominent note after that little burst of citrus. It's that little black currant that comes in and adds a little bit of a weird fruitiness to the fragrance. And then as it starts to dry down, I feel like the base and the heart really kind of just combine together and bring out the rest of this fragrance. So definitely I feel like the peach is way more prominent in this one than it was in the previous Elixir. Although they both have peach, this one's definitely way more peachy. And it's weird because it's... I feel like the sandalwood really comes out. I feel like almost sandalwood is the start of this fragrance. But the peach, the sandalwood, the black currant, the tangerine all kind of give it this weird kind of African fruit vibe to it, if that makes any sense at all. But it's weird because it's this kind of, I don't want to say syrupy because it's not syrupy, but it's just this kind of like drenched, deep, exotic fruit kind of scent. That kind of is just woody, and it's almost like you're smelling a fruit tree, if that makes any sense. Because you got that patchouli to kind of add that, like, earthiness to the fragrance. But I definitely feel like the patchouli isn't as strong in this fragrance, because I hate patchouli. And that's part of the reason why I don't like this fragrance, is because the patchouli, pa blah, 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 patchouli is there. It's not overly prominent, but it is there, and it does... It's not really taken aback like it is in some other fragrances... Um, I feel like some fragrances, when they add patchouli to them, it overtakes the fragrance. This doesn't completely overtake the fragrance, but it does add that earthy vibe to the fragrance. Um, the rose is only there to add, like, a little bit of a floralness to it. And like I said, in my mind, this is a fruit tree, because you've got the earthiness of the patchouli. You've got the sandalwood and the cedar kind of giving it that, like, the tree, and then... You've got the fruits, like the patchouli, or the peach and the black currant kind of giving that fruit aspect. And the rose gives you that flower of like the flowering of the fruits, if that makes any sense. So, and I feel like the peony also does that same, this one doesn't have peony, no, no, it's orange blossom, sorry. And the tangerine also adds into this. So like, I feel like the tangerine mixes with the orange blossom and gives it that kind of like orange flowery kind of smell but this isn't overly flowery this isn't overly floral and it isn't overly earthy i think it's a well blend of all three but it does dry down to this just kind of creamy version of the of what you smell throughout the whole entire fragrance it doesn't really change a whole lot after about five minutes on me it lasts about eight hours. It lasts a little bit longer than the original one. I have heard people say that the moment this hits their skin, they can't smell it anymore. And it's also a little bit closer 
and a little more sensual than the original elixir. So I can see why they say that, but it does, for me, last about eight hours. So for this one, I would definitely wear this in the like end of summer, beginning of fall. And I could see this as someone's signature scent, but I almost feel like this could be someone's signature nighttime scent. It isn't overly nighttimey or whatever, but it is kind of uh, a little more sensual than the previous Elixir was, if that makes any sense at all. So, there you guys go. There is my review of Elixir by Miss Shakira. Or, Parad Wild Elixir. Wow, I just cannot talk tonight. So, anyway, thanks so, so much for watching, guys. Follow me on Twitter, Ada S. Perfume. Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. And as always, guys, comment down below if there's a review that you guys want me to do. So, Thanks so, so much for watching, guys. Bye.